Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Uh, really appreciate everybody uh, coming back and all you uh, new people, appreciate it. Um, don't forget to subscribe and give me a thumbs up if you like the content that we're giving out. But uh, you've you've come to the Whitbacks way of life. We do a lot of different uh, crazy things. Uh, yeah, we do. But anyway, I just wanted to uh, explain what we're gonna be doing here uh, in the next few weeks is we're gonna install our underground pipe and I'm gonna go to a different size pipe this time uh, with this stove. I've owned a few different ones, but uh, but we are going to eventually, about 90 feet out there, uh, we're gonna go ahead right in there, uh, put our outdoor furnace. So we gotta tie in to our side of our house or my uh, mechanical rooms in here and i will be uh, showing this total install uh, when i do it we'll be trenching we're going to use a trencher and go across the, the yard and go about eight eh, somewhere in 16 to 20 inches deep i'm going to throw some uh, 100 amp service in there a wire and I'll throw my 12-2 underground wire on a 15-amp breaker for the wood stove itself. And then, obviously, the pipe. Uh, the, and the reason we're going with this, uh, this our house here, is it heats very, very efficient. It's right around 1,400 square foot. And with the, not with the garage, but it's just a one-car garage. But we did it on a slab with... Uh, four inches of blue board four inches thick uh two inch by four foot by eight foot sheets but i doubled up on it so it's very well insula insulated underneath and then we did uh two by six walls inside uh, with cellulose insulation there and then i put in the insulation in the attic so and i went oh i went right around to 18 inches a little bit right around there 18 inches so that doesn't take much energy but a pole barn out here uh, we might move uh, brenda's uh, craft room out here and other things so uh, we need a little bit more room and we'll put the wood stove over here and put the uh, the pole barn over here and put some heat in that what i'm thinking is i might run a line over here and i might build a lean to off this maybe 10 foot out with that clear uh plastic um uh, looks like I, for, I forget what it's called but it's just like pole barn steel and it's it's white that clear plastic and put me in a little greenhouse right here uh, level this all out so that might be that's going to be down in the future and you see bailey over there when we move the shed I got to finish off, uh, plug that up because Mr. Skunk was underneath that and sprayed her in the face. And after five baths, we finally started letting her sleep inside the house again. So for about three nights, four nights, she was in the garage and she was whining because she's spoiled. But uh, she's back to living in the house. So if you do have a shed, you're going to want to plug them off because you're going to get critters in there on the on the back side. I already got that done. So, But anyway, what we're going to do is uh, is I'm going to use, I'm going to show you the different types of pipe that uh, that were, that you can use uh, for doing outdoor wood stoves and stuff like that. And, and I've used one inch before. I've used an uh, inch and a quarter. And now this time I'm going to go with the 25 millimeter. Here's the difference. So this is inch and a quarter. If you're going to do a high volume uh, situation, a uh, big house uh, with a, you know, attached garage, big attached garage, I'm talking five, 6,000 square foot house, maybe a pool also, you're going to want a lot of volume in, in that uh, house and then manifold it off and do, you know, split it, do different things. Most common is the one inch uh, pipe uh, packs. There's different kinds out there that you can check out and you know and google it and see what kind you want this is a 25 millimeter i redoing this video because i misspoke on a number of things the last time so uh the 25 millimeter is what i'm going to run on this job i shouldn't say this job my house so uh 
you stay tuned with us and we're going to show the different we're going to show putting this uh pipe in the ground and trenching it uh i'll put a video of that i'm going to do a video of uh hooking it all up inside uh maybe you know make it all just one video and showing the uh hooking the up to the wood stove uh when i get that and then uh I, you can see i have no wood so found some wood uh got to get some wood around so got a lot of work to do here in the next uh next uh month month and a half so plus we got deer season here in michigan coming yeah it is bow season i plan on doing a little bit of bow hunting but uh then rifle season starts november 15th so anyway thanks again for watching our channel thanks for keep uh, popping in and hopefully uh give us a thumbs up and a like uh subscribe and all that good stuff and and keep our channel growing like it's growing here lately you guys have a great day and we'll talk to you soon Bye bye